From the Bronx to the world stage at the Paris Olympics, breakdancing has come a long way. And today we're going to meet up with a b-boy who is teaching the next generation of breakers. Glide, first of all, let me say I love your studio. You know, before we get into KBL or Kids Breaking League, can you just talk to me about the history of breaking? Yeah, it started in the Bronx. Um, the, the youth, the youth are, um, are very powerful. They, they were, they're the ones that created the dance, the art, hip hop was a movement you know, where people didn't really have anything and they created something. Uh, hip hop's always about innovating something, taking something and making it yours and switching it up. And that's what I do here with the youth. They, I get to show them and guide them to be themselves with the art form. Yeah, why is that important to you? I know what hip hop has done for me. Since I was like 11, I was mad shy, mad shy and breaking got me to express myself a lot more. And I want to give back to hip hop as much as I can. To this day, whenever I'm um, teaching kids, it still rewards me how I see them grow. And it's so cool when you watch a kid's confidence grow. Oh yeah, You know, sure. like that, that affects them when they walk out that door. What they learn here on the floor is, is things that they can apply in life. You know, they, they learn to mess up. They learn to mess up many times so that they can learn how to get a move. You know how many times you have to mess up? Mad times. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about some PBS kids in Alma's way. Yeah. So we have breakdancing featured in an episode. It's, it's an amazing piece. We, have, we got to show the kids having a class and then just, you know, bugging out, doing what they usually do. So it's amazing that we're a part of that, so. Yeah. You know, and we talk about representation a lot lately, but to see the representation in a show like that, but for kids, you know, like I'm, I'm noticing a connection that it seems like everything is for this next generation. Yeah, I mean, she's a young lady. She's from the Bronx and she's representing, you know, and we have young ladies in our, in our, in our class, as you can see, and a lot, like at least half of the kids are. I love that. Okay, so talk <laughs> to me about the studio. What types of classes do you offer? Is it just for kids? Is there anything for I mean, old um, people? <laughs> nah, nah, there's, there's classes for everybody, but I really like to work with kids. We have open sessions where people could just practice their moves, you know, come here but we also have other other programs as well too but yeah breaking is is w w what I love to do and that's why I'm pushing so we're gonna go right foot kick down step three then four five then six and we're gonna turn five six turn here don't hate me we're gonna go like this jump oh. down bah. you want me to get back up What do you think about this guy? He has some great moves. He'll like break things down to make it easier for you to understand. He's a yeah. very great teacher. Yeah, you look like him. Because I'm his daughter. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> there, that, makes, that, makes, that makes sense. First, when I started, I was sh like shy here. Like I didn't really know what I was doing. But now when I went to glide, I can break out of my shell and I'm creative and stuff like that. Do you guys think I could keep up with you? Uh, no. No! 